to all of my comic book collectors, Dante D here and welcome to the channel where we talk about comic books and other geek stuff. In today's video we're going to be doing something a little bit different and that's going to be at any time during the video, at four specific points during this video, I'm going to be just saying some random quote. And if you know all four random quotes and can correctly list them at the bottom, well then you're gonna get a very special shout out in the next video. So pay attention for those quotes and you will get that special shout out. So stay tuned until the end of the video so you can pick out and write down all those quotes. Also, if you're looking for a shout out in the next video, subscribe to this channel and let me know in the comments that you subscribe to the channel and I'll be sure to give you a shout out in the next video. If you're already subscribed, that's no problem. You guys are my tried and true subscribers. You guys deserve some recognition too. If you're looking for a shout out, like and share this video and let me know that you did so in the comments and you will also get a shout out as well. I gotta put this in right now just because the video that you're watching right now was filmed from before, but I just wanted to give a very special shout out to Oscar Gonzalez, Lovell Lucas Jr. and Frank DiColombo who listed all of the quotes that were in the last video. So if you want a special shout out, give me all the quotes from this week's video. Today, we're going to be talking about something that I think will be the next collecting craze. So I, we did a video not too long ago, ago talking about the difference between Marvel direct market editions and Marvel newsstand editions. And people nowadays are actually starting to be very choosy with which editions of books that they are collecting. I myself, I really don't care. I think the book is the book. Get whatever edition you can. But there are some people out there that are very particular with the edition, specific edition that they are buying. And the reason for that is as the direct market grew in par popularity, the newsstand editions of particular issues of comic books became more scarce. So a lot of people, especially as you're getting closer to the 90s, a lot of collectors are actually starting to look more for those newsstand editions because they are becoming more rare and collectible. YouTube user I have listed down here, shout out to you. He actually guessed that the next collecting craze that we'd be talking about nowadays is Canadian price variants. And that is a very, very good guess. And I actually think that that is worth a mention because there are many people in the past that have looked for those Canadian price variants because those are essentially more scarce than standard editions of comic books. I'm talking about those Canadian price variants, for those of you that are out there that don't really know what I'm talking about, Canadian price variants are another edition of particular comic books that are becoming rare. You see, back there was one time where comic books had a different price in Canada than they did in the United States. I'm specifically thinking of the 75 cent price variants of comic books. Um, I think I have one actually, it's uh, The Amazing Spider-Man 252. But there are a lot of collectors nowadays that are keeping an eye out for these price variants just because they are rarer. Uh, there are less of those floating around as well. So I'd love to hear from you all. Are you keeping an eye out for those Canadian price variants? Again, let me know in the comments. Uh, but the additions that I really wanted to talk about today are, you probably guessed it, the Whitmans. If you want to catch the mouse, you have to think like a mouse. So the Whitmans, and you're probably all asking yourself, some of you that are tried and true collectors and you've been doing this for a long time, you'll know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the Whitmans. But for those of you that are maybe new to collecting, you're probably wondering what the hell is a Whitman comic? You know, you probably never even heard of it. Well, to make a long story short, back in the day, DC Comics and even Marvel Comics but as you know, there's plenty of wrong with me. This was actually an early representation of the direct market. Marvel Comics and DC Comics actually gave the Whitman Publishing Company the ability and the permission to reprint a lot of their comic books. For those of you that were around in the late 70s and early 80s and remember collecting comic books at that time, you'll remember that the Whitmans were the editions of 
Marvel Comics and DC Comics that were already printed and they were usually packaged up in like a set of about three or four comics. That is what Whitman did really, really well. They would reprint issues of particular issues of comic books and then put them in a set of about four comic books. Now that bag was usually sealed so you, you only knew maybe the first comic that you were getting but you weren't sure what else you were getting in that bag so it was always a little bit of a surprise. I really think this is going to be the next big collecting craze just because if you think newsstand editions of comic books are becoming more and more scarce or early direct market editions were scarce well let me tell you Whitman's are very very scarce looked up a stat actually Whitman comics only made up about five percent of particular editions of comic books that were printed in the 1970s and 1980s so these are very very rare now me personally I really don't care that much uh, like I said I prefer to actually just have any edition of the comic book doesn't matter which one but though there are going to be some of you out there that really actually want to go for the more for, for the more for the rarer editions of these books and I can tell you the Whitman's are going to be pretty rare just because there weren't there aren't as many of them floating around so that about does it for a video today really really hope that you enjoyed it let me know would love to hear from you all in the comments what do you think is going to be the next big collecting craze do you agree with me with the Whitman's do you agree with me with the Canadian price variants would really love to hear from you all in the comments and as always this is Dante D signing off um please hold I will see you all in the next episode I have spoken.